And I was living in Germany at the time, and essentially down the street from where I lived was the school of school of German brewers. Schools of free in Germany, pay some tuition or, and a little registration fee into your books and your living expenses, but other than that, it's free. Wow. And I thought, well, I should become a German brewer. However, before you could apply, they required that you had a year's worth of practical experience. So I quit my job, uh, started knocking on breweries' doors, looking to, for an apprenticeship. Not one brewery would give me a full year. To my advantage, though, they would all give me a couple weeks or a month or two months at every place. And so I worked at big breweries. I worked at little breweries. I worked at brew pubs. I worked at uh, uh, malting houses and hop fields. And uh, uh, it really got a broad education. Uh, their apprenticeship programs and their systems over in Europe and Germany are really trained. So they knew that you were there just to learn. Uh, they didn't really pay you much. But in, in trade, you were allowed to ask any stupid questions you wanted. And I asked a lot of them. Nice. Uh, and, uh, and so how, how long did it take? For me to get my full year, it took a couple of years. Okay. So it was not wow. continuous from one place to another to another. Uh, that was right. I had a, I bought an old VW camper bus and my dog and I would travel from brewery to brewery and camp out in the woods while we were working in a spot. It was the life. I tell you what, Man. I had the time of my life. It was great. Yeah. At the end of the day, you grab some beer and some food for the local pub and go out into the woods and, uh, and just chill and, and go, yeah, I'm living the life. <laughs> oh Man, yeah. That's, that sounds like a, that sounds like a fairy tale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I wish I could switch positions with you when you were doing that. Yeah, for sure. 